being a youth service provider for the last almost 40 years, um, I've known young people who have grown up in Smoketown over the years. And there's one thing that I know about this neighborhood, and that is that there's some sort of something special here. And I've always felt that way, that there is a, a magic to Smoketown that there really isn't in other places. And when we had the opportunity to move here uh, four years ago, we took it because we wanted to make sure that we were in the place where we had done the highest concentration of our work. We, know, we knew that we wanted to be in a neighborhood that was on the move. And we also knew that we wanted to do something special in this neighborhood by building our campus here. I really hope that core Smoketown values and principles can be maintained. I think that um, all the neighbors and all the partners and business owners and nonprofits are going to be really intentional about doing that. Um, I don't think that you can just plop down new housing stock and just hope it works. I think we all have to um, really listen to neighbors and hear what those values are. The biggest core value that they had was community. Everybody looking out for one another, knowing each other, um, welcoming each other, helping each other, supporting each other uh, in what they were doing. But when you don't know your neighbors, you don't have that. This Vision Smoketown thing is really, really important to me because I witnessed right here on this block, right here, one of the largest block parties, anti-bad period with nothing negative about it. Everything was progressive, informative, and gathering. Smoketown just has a lot of character and a lot of history and a lot of interest and, and, uh, and a lot of that has to do with the people, obviously, who lived in Smoketown for many, many years, and, and also its location. The first thing is when somebody wants to come back, it's gotta be safety. So that's the number one thing in our community, is safety. So once they feel like everything is safe and people just wanna come back that grew up in this neighborhood and wanna see new things around the neighborhood, that's gonna to wanna to make them come back, like new attractive, new business. You know, they open up new stores around here. What I like about the new Shepherd Square is that it's very quiet up here now and at night, and it's less violence up here, less drugs, and the kids get to come outside and enjoy themselves. Uh, I think it's great what they're doing to the new Shepherd Square. It's, um, it seems like it's bringing more positive people out. It's real positive right now. It's the look of it is good. You know, it's good quality work being done, and you know, hopefully they'll bring good quality people so they can keep them up. We want it to stay a neighborhood. We don't want it to be commercialized. You know, we don't want it to be um, high tech. You know, we want to keep up with the times and we want new and fresh, you know, things around the community. We want the structures to be restored. You know, we want our houses to be kept up and the yards and, and just the easements you know, to be well maintained, like a good neighborhood, but we still want to be residential. It was cool. Uh, it was similar to other neighborhoods I'd experienced in other cities, and not having any kind of pre-conceived notions about what Smoketown was supposed to be or not, I thought it was great. Everybody was super friendly to me. We had a great time shooting in the class. Uh, it was close to downtown. It was easy to get in and out of uh, and when I would tell other people I get you know go out and have dinner with somebody or meet somebody new and tell them where I was they were surprised that I, th I think they were surprised that I like Smoketown so much. Well I started here in 68 and I've seen a lot of changes um, for the better for the worse and now for the better again. The old dilapidated houses are being torn down uh, they're building new houses, um, the, the projects and everything, they tore down and they're building nice buildings. And, you know, and I'm not sure the people that live there like them a whole lot better than what they used to be in. I really don't think any neighborhood's any different from the other. It's about you, the owner, and how much energy and strength in yourself to make your business roll. And if you don't have gojones and strength and belief in yourself, 
It doesn't matter what business it is, doesn't matter what neighborhood. Me sitting back thinking like, now my community is gone, how is it going to be better? Are they going to just leave it or are they going to rebuild it? Well, in, in, in reality, they had a floor, a floor plan up to rebuild the community, make it bigger and better. There's a lot of things going on in Smoketown that is only going to uh, raise the level of, of its you know, profile as well as bring even more prestige because the economic and the income levels are going to increase. I think that there also needs to be some investment in um, programming and, and activities um, and leadership from you know older members of the community, whether that's adults or you know twenty-something-year-olds, um, kind of rally the, the kids together to do something. I would like to see them actually bring some of the residents back. You know, you see a person or two here, but out of all the occupants, you know, it's a majority of new faces. To bring it back together, I just think we who care, you know, the ones of us who are still here and still have it in our hearts, that if we can just talk to these people, if we can just reach out some kind of way and, you know, just get them to listen and hear, I think that they would come back together and be willing to, you know, be a part of this neighborhood. I'd like to see more businesses move in. Um, I mean, they don't have to be big businesses, just businesses. I think uh, businesses in a, in a neighborhood kind of stabilize it. Shepherd Square plus Smoketown in general. I heard uh, Councilman Tandy say at the meeting, this, 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 this could be a, a neighborhood of choice. But to make it a neighborhood of choice, you have to make it attractive. And to make it attractive, all the emphasis cannot just be on Shepherd Square. It's the neighborhood around Shepherd Square. We have a responsibility to those who came before us. And those who came before us have an opportunity to make new friends and new allies to carry their visions and their concerns forward too. It all begins with dialogue and engagement, and that means sitting around a table, sharing a meal together. It's the simple things in life that make a community a community together. I think we have to convince the people that once lived here, if, if you want to come back, uh, sit down and, and come together with some type of great program. There are people who have committed their lives to live in this neighborhood, and now is a time for us as a community to step up and change policies if they don't work for folks, then change them so that they can work. Because what makes the fabric of this neighborhood rich is the people. Change the people around you. And if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you. Because there'll be the reason that you're down up. Change the people around you. And if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you. And then keep your life for getting cancer. See, everybody need change in their lifetime. It's up to you if it's 20 nickels or 10 dimes. Won't you try help change your 10 minds? See, for you, every 10 blessings 10 times. And I'm just keeping it 100. You can take it and run with it. Treat it as garbage, throw it away, and be done with it. I'm trying to do it big like Bun did it. Except to you, why, and be at one with it. Change the people around you. And if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you. Cause there be the reason that you're down up. Change the people around you, and if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you, and then keep your life quick getting cancer. See, a pigeon can't teach an eagle how to be an eagle, and the selfish can't show you how to care for other people. Misery, love, company, don't let it recruit ya. Show me your friends, I show you your future. Change is the topic at hand. You got two feet on your own, you should stand. Correct your own path, don't follow the next man. Follow the next man, gon' land you where he land, you understand? Since a juvenile, they had pain like a root canal. Life like a trap house, people moving in and out. Life a lot simpler, thinking what mama doing now. Well, God is my captain, it's things that I won't go without like food, shelter.
shelter and family. He brand me a father. Who's supposed to be a light to the dead street? A father. Who's supposed to provide so that his family grew up with our mind, so I refuse to be a deadbeat. Change the people around you. And if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you. Cause that be the reason that you're down up. Change the people around you, and if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you, and then can your life quit getting cancer? You can no longer just swallow everything that's given, including what I'm saying. I want you to research me because I know it's 100% fact. But the reason why I need you to research me as well as everybody else, because if you just accept what I say and don't research it, you'll accept the next man. I'm telling you the truth, he might be lying. So you got to get in the habit of questioning everything. Change the people around you. And if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you. Because that be the reason that you're down up. Change the people around you, and if you can't change the people around you, then you need to change the people around you, and then keep your life quit getting cancer. Change.